So there's not really too much I want to mention about colloids, but they're basically just suspensions of larger particles, um, particles that are larger than individual ions or molecules, but too small to be settled out by gravity. Um, so there you have your homogeneous mixture where everything is you know all evenly dispersed and then heterogeneous where you can kind of see the two pieces and colloids are kind of somewhere in the middle and it depends on how big the particles are and so it's a whole bunch of different kinds of colloids that you have actually ab absolutely have experienced in nature or at your house or whatever like marshmallows are actually um, a colloid and so these just kind of show different different types of colloids um, what would be considered the solvent like substance what would be the solute so if you um, took a liquid and dissolved it into a gas you get something like fog um, so fog is a colloid um, milk paint all these sorts of things so you just kind of have a look at some of these different uh, colloids that we have uh, Tyndall effect. Tyndall effect is when uh, light is scattered um, by particles in a colloidal dispersion. So you have probably experienced the Tyndall effect if you have ever been on like a dusty road at night and you, your, your headlights kind of scatter that um, the dust in the road, those dust particles, that's the Tyndall effect. Um, in our biological systems, we also have colloids. So uh, let's see, we have different types of um, proteins can be considered colloids. So you have hydrophobic or hydrophilic. Um, so hydrophilic means it likes water. So it might have one water loving end and one hydrophobic uh, water hating end. Um, you may see these sorts of things in fats and oils when um, your body starts breaking these things down. You can form these different colloidal substances.